Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition. I adjust myself. Welcome to another edition, another episode of Favorite Live Album by Year. We are almost done. It is September 29th. We got one more day left after today. We have arrived at 1996. That's right, 30 days of September, 30 live albums, 30 runner ups. Uh, so, today, actually, a pretty good year for live recordings and archival live recordings. So I had a handful that I had kind of accumulated in my list and I was like, all right, I'm gonna pare it down to two. There were a couple that I feel really bad I left off, but you know, in the end, gotta kinda of pick the two. Especially you know when you just it's one thing when I have a whole bunch that I just I couldn't leave any off. I've done that a couple times this month. But for here, I think the two that rose to the top were the cream of the crop. And yes, for those of you who have been watching this morning a couple of videos I posted uh, with me with the longer hair. Yeah, I mean, the, the blooper videos, I kind of, they happen all throughout the months, and uh, I just kind of save them. I usually, like, I like to throw a couple bloopers at you towards the end of the month as we finish off each month, uh, just as a, a little extra content. So I've kind of had those sitting around for a while. So yes, I had the longer locks at the time, uh, the Uriah Heap uh, review. Steven and I actually recorded last week, uh, literally the night before I got the haircut. So that's why people are probably seeing that this morning. It's like, wait, Pete's got hair again. It's like, yes, recorded little bit ago we do that I mean we do record stuff and you know hold them sometimes till uh, you know depending on schedules because you know we we have uh, certain shows that run certain days so sometimes depending on schedules we may have to record these a little bit before actual air date so in this instance yes Pete trims trims the locks on a Friday morning but we did have some stuff in the can recorded just before then anyway back to 1996 so uh, my favorite of this year is a, a barn burner of a live album from a band who from this time period this is an archival one uh was one of the greatest live bands of all time in my opinion and there's a bunch of live recordings from them around this era that are all spectacular this one is ranks right up there it was uh, released october 29th 1996 Recorded the uh, 29th of August, 1970, at the Isle of Wight Festival. Yes, I am talking about The Who, live at the Isle of Wight Festival, 1970. Uh, absolutely spectacular double live album, as it should be, right? So here you've got, uh, let me just kind of pull this booklet out here so you can get a little gander if I can get it out of the jewel case. There we go. All right, so there's without the glare. All right. There's, uh, as you can see, Entwistle in his, like, skeleton garb. I mean, this is just a great presentation here. All sorts of live pics and information about their appearance at the festival. There's Mooney, of course. You know, this, I mean, the Who, at this point in time, were just absolutely on fire. Pretty close to being unmatched as a live unit, right? So, and the set lists. This is uh, very indicative of what they were playing live at the time. On disc one, you got the first half of the show. You got to Heaven and Hell, which is the great Entwistle song that they never recorded in the studio, uh, but were playing live quite a bit at the time. You got Can't Explain, Young Man Blues, uh, I Don't Even Know Myself, Water, a nine minute version of Water, really heavy, really rocking. Uh, you got The Overture, It's a Boy, 1921, Amazing Journey, uh, Sparks. Um, let's see what else we got here. Christmas, Eyesight to the Blind, you know, so of course we're getting into Tommy now, and then over on disc two, you've, it continues, The Acid Queen, Pinball Wizard, uh, Do You Think It's All Right, you know, more and more of Tommy, you get most of the Tommy here, and then uh, after, uh, you know, a bunch of the rest of the Tommy, I'm Free, uh, Holiday Camp, and We're Not Gonna Take It, uh, then we go back to other Who material, so then you've got Summertime Blues, uh, shaking all over, a little bit of spoonful, a little bit of twist and shout, substitute my generation, naked eye and magic bus. It's just frantic, rocking, hard rocking, I might say, the who with Townsend and Moon and Entwistle and Daltrey in fine form. And of course, if you've seen the uh, the video of this from the Isle of Wight Festival, uh, you know that they were one of the highlights of that whole weekend. So in front of all those hundreds of thousands of people. So yeah, who at the Isle of Wight Festival, kind of a no-brainer for today for 1996. Uh, moving on to my runner-up. So this was, I had a couple that I was really uh, wanting to pick here for this. And, but it ultimately came down to this one, which I think is a just absolutely furious 
rumbling, tumbling, hard rocking affair from this great new band at the time. All right, so uh, released October 22nd, 1996, recorded December 31st, 1995 at the Roseland Ballroom, a New Year's Eve show from the then fairly new Government Mule live at Roseland Ballroom. I mean, Matt Apps, Alan Woody, and Warren Haynes. So, of course, you know, the Warren Haynes and Alan Woody uh, in the Allman Brothers Band at the time put together this little power trio with Matt Apps on drums. Uh, meant to be kind of like a throwback to like Humble Pie and Free, uh, Led Zeppelin, that sort of thing. Big guitar riffs, lots of jamming, heavy, heavy grooves, lengthy songs. Uh, just a very British feel to their music. But of course, they you know embrace the jamming nature of what a lot of American bands wouldn't normally do. So here, like I said, recorded Roseanne Ballroom in New York City on New Year's Eve. Uh, you've got an amazing 16-minute long train opening up. Again, they had just released their first album, so this is basically stuff from the first album. Uh, Temporary Saint, Painted Silver Light, Don't Step on the Grass, Kind of Bird. Uh, incredible. Uh, you know, man, just... Uh, uh, Warren Haynes, what a guitar player. What a guitar player. And then, of course, finishing off with Mule, uh, their classic, classic song from that debut album. You know, Where's My Mule? Where's My Mule? Just great riffs. Uh, they later, it, this interesting story about that. This one out of print fairly quickly. Uh, and then, you know, the prices just skyrocketed for this for anybody who was looking to buy a used copy. I mean, people were charging an exorbitant amount of money. They reissued it back in 2007 actually tacked on a bonus track on here which is a really lengthy version of a voodoo child like 15 minutes long from Jimi hendrix because you know government mule have always been great at covers well, you know i normally give a thumbs down on covers yeah it depends depends on the band uh but government mule have always done absolutely killer covers because they put their own stamp on into these classic songs so here uh and this particular version of voodoo child was recorded in uh, 2001 so after alan woody had passed away and it features uh jack cassidy on bass and chuck leavell on oregon so a stellar crew there guesting with the mule uh to play one of jimmy's classic songs so yeah this is just rip roaring heavy Lots of thunderous bass and crashing drums and the incredible guitar work and vocals of Mr. Warren Haynes. So there you have it. That is my runner-up for today. Uh, number one, though, is The Who, live at the Isle of Wight Festival. Awesome stuff. You know, we got great one from Yes and great one from Angler Garden this year and a couple others. But uh, the, these are the two that, for me, just kind of stand up at the top. So uh, in the comments below, please list your favorite live album from 1996 and your runner-up. We only got one more to go tomorrow, and then we move on to spooky albums for the month of October, celebrate, celebrate, not celebrating, celebrating Halloween. So stay tuned for that starting on October 1st. Uh, in the meantime, what do we got coming up here on the channel? Uh, we hopefully should have another review show, maybe two today. Not quite sure. You've already got one this morning. It's... Uh, kind of airing as we speak. Hopefully you've had a chance to catch that. Uh, I'm hoping to get one more out for you, maybe two today, so we'll see how it goes. Should have more next week. Uh, it's just been a busy, busy last week and haven't really had a lot of time to listen to uh, as much new music as I'd like. But uh, tomorrow we've got the Monsters Den coming up. We are going to be looking at our favorite Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing film collaborations, right? So the two icons of British horror. That's coming up tomorrow, Friday morning at the Fun House. Martin Popoff are going to be looking at uh, some albums where the first song is killer, the rest is all filler. So those songs that start off with a bang and then just quickly go downhill. So uh, we'll each be uh, having a bunch of picks for that. And uh, we've got Sunday album homework assignment. Anthony Ferraro and Jack Toledano. So you don't want to miss this one. It should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, and lots more happening here on the channel. Uh, I think also we're going to be doing a, uh, yes, another uh, metal show ranking, uh, album ranking with Simon Bray and Stephen Reed. That is coming up tomorrow for uh, Power Metal Veterans Power Wolf. So uh, stay tuned for that uh, and a lot more. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, don't forget to tune into the debut for October, starting October 1st, of Spooky Albums for October. So that'll be coming up on on, uh, on Friday. Friday is October 1st. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you real soon. I'm Pete Pardo. Bye-bye.